Uh, hello once again, Amazing Blue fans. Now, I want to do a video a little early. I've been, Michigan has Nebraska this week, Big Ten opener at home. It's 12 o'clock, it's on FSN or FS1. But I got to tell you, might be upset alert if if they're if they're starting quarterback plays. So as always, like, share, subscribe, and let's just get into it. So Michigan will play Nebraska, and I'm just gonna run on some of their offensive offensive stats first, and then I'm gonna get into what I wanted to talk about. So Adrian Martinez on the season, he got hurt the first game, and we're going to talk about this dude because he's a beast. So he's a freshman. Against Colorado, he was 15 of 20, 78%, 187 yards through the air, a TD. And he ran 15 times for 117 and two TDs. So that tells you something right there. He didn't even finish that game. Now the backup, Andrew Bunch. Now hopefully this, hopefully he's starting. Hopefully, Martinez can't play. But he was 23 of 36 on the season. He finished out that Colorado game and then the Troy game. So he 23 of 36 for 63%, two TDs, two picks. Now, at running back, they got Maurice Washington. He on the season, he's 22 for 125. And they got Divine Azigbo. I hope I'm saying that right. He's 24 for 84. 84 yards in a TD also. The leading receiver is J.D. Spielman. He's got nine catches for 112 and two TDs. And they lost both of their games. They lost to Colorado 33-28 when Martinez got hurt, and they lost to Troy 24-19. Now, I know most of y'all are like me. I haven't really seen Nebraska play. But getting ready to make this video, I watched – some of and the first game against Colorado, some highlights of Andrew Martinez. This dude's a beast. If if we thought we if if he this, this now let's let's just start this. He may not play. He didn't play last week because he, he he's he's suffer he suffered a knee injury. He might not play. But he, they're saying he's been practicing. He went through warm-ups last week, but I guess he still couldn't go. He's been practicing this week. If this dude plays, this it, it might get bad. Like this is upset upset alert if this dude plays. Because this dude is fast, sits in the pocket. This dude is a freshman. I'm watching him. He sits in the pocket like he's uh like a like he's a junior or something. Like he's he's just sitting in the pocket. Runs runs as fast as any college quarterback that I've almost seen. Like besides maybe Lamar Jackson and Mike Vick. The dude is fast. Elusive. He'll put it on the ground. He'll put it on the ground. He fumbled like two times in that Colorado game, but the way our defense, we all us. All Michigan fans, we know our defense struggles with mobile quarterbacks. That's how JT Barrett beat us all those all those times. From Trace McSorley, uh, Brian Lewerke, any any basically any mobile quarterback that's they can actually throw and somewhat run gives us trouble. This dude right here, if he's a hundred percent, I'm nervous. Now they haven't said if he's going to start or not, but he's been practicing. So who doesn't want to come to Michigan in the big house and beat us? Everybody wants to. So it's not likely he's going to miss this. He's going to try to play if he can. He's he's not going to miss this game. So if he if he plays, the defense is going to have to step up like and they're going to have to be disciplined. Whoever's spying the quarterback, because they're, they're running the spread. If he's in there, they're running a true spread. And he's going to be, you know, option passing, option running, and all that. So it's going to be crucial that the defense stays disciplined 
and doesn't over pursue and follow follow the running back or all that. If not, this dude is going to be taking it to the house. Like this dude will eat up 30, 40, 50 yards quick. I didn't I I didn't know this dude was a beast like this. Nebraska is going to be trouble for years to come. Like anybody that thinks Nebraska is not going they going Nebraska is going to be something to deal with for the for the next three, four years while this dude is there. Because he's just a freshman right now. This dude is a beast. Like I me for me just watching the three quarters of him, he's trouble. So if he plays, now this is a if. He might not play. I'm hoping he doesn't play. Because if he does and he's able to run like he can run, we're gonna be in trouble. Unless our defense just comes out and plays lights out or it's going to be a shootout or something like that. But, like, this dude makes me nervous, real nervous, because we have trouble with these type of quarterbacks. And I'd like to, I'd like to see the defense almost do – I'm not sure if you can do it against him because he looks like he can throw pretty good. I'd almost like to see them do a mush rush. For those of you who don't know, a mush rush is where – you got a mobile quarterback that doesn't like to sit in the pocket. He wants to escape. And that's where the DNs, they come down, but they don't attack upfield. They just kind of sit there. They're just kind of waiting for him. And it makes the quarterback nervous, and he wants to get out the pocket, and they're basically waiting there for him. But they're not rushing him hard so he can just run up the middle and step up and then run. It creates, It makes it so you can't do that. You don't have all those running lanes, basically. But I'm not sure if this dude looks like he can throw, so I wouldn't want to do that with him, honestly. But for Michigan on offense, I mean, we just want to continue more of the same. Get Shea throwing the ball. Stop running it so much just into the teeth of the defense when it's not there. I'd like to see them switch that up. Come out throwing the ball. Like we all want to see, come out throwing the ball to set up the run. Switch it up. Uh, the strength of our team this year is the passing game. You can't, and I know people say, "Oh, we ran for this and that." You can't, you can't take the strength of a team, of a team playing bad teams. So if y'all you. We rack up 200 and 150 and 300 and 400 yards on Rutgers and bad teams and Western and teams like that. That don't mean nothing. That, that means nothing. You racking up yards on those bad teams. Now, if you can rack up yards against the good teams, now that's the strength of a defense. I mean, the strength of an offense. And I just don't see that happening. I already, the strength of the team is the passing game. It's Shea, right? It's Shea. It's not. It's not the running game. It's not. Uh, and w w and with the running game, I we probably gonna see Shea throw it more of this this game because Higdon is nicked up. Evans is a uh, Higdon has an ankle sprain, and I'm not sure what what's up with Evans. So they're both nicked up. So True Wilson might start this game. Or either Higdon. I, I think Evans is probably going to be out. But what I'm hearing is they're both practicing. But even if they play, you you don't know if they're going to be 100%. Like you, they might play and then they might not be hitting the hole, hitting the holes hard. And so you you yeah, they start and then they go sit down. So I'm I'm looking for True Wilson to probably get a lot of the carries and then whichever one of those two can go get get the rest of the carries. But I want to see Shea. Harbaugh give it to give the give the game to Shea from the jump. Like we're gonna come out and throw it. And so don't come out with eight in the box. If they try to come out with eight in the box, burn them right off top. Like let them know, no. And then, you know, they creep back. And then you start running it down their throat. But that's just that's just what I'm feeling about this game. I can't even give a prediction right now because I'm Seeing, watching this dude's highlights, I'm nervous. That's if he plays. He might not play. I'm hoping he doesn't play. Because if this dude is 100% and, and can do what he does, 
And I was just reading some stuff that I think the running back said he's starting to keep the ball on reads in practice. So he's probably going to play. He's probably about 100, close to 100%. So for anybody thinking uh, Michigan versus Nebraska was going to be a cakewalk, you might as well you might as well get ready for some because this dude is nasty. Like this dude can fly. Like I was highly impressed by this dude. Like I'm he's one of those dudes where you wonder like why he why didn't we why didn't we get him in Michigan? Because this dude can fly. And he's his pocket presence looked pretty good to me. The way he was sitting in that pocket like a statue. Not not a dumb statue sitting back reading the defense. So I'm nervous. I'm all, I'm already nervous because I don't know. I'm thinking he's gonna play. So Michigan's the defense is gone. The defense better be ready to play. If not, they're gonna be watching him run by. Cause I can already tell he's faster than everybody on our defense. I have no doubt in my mind he's faster than, than all of our defensive players. So if the defense isn't playing isn't playing fundamentally sound, disciplined ball. You you make you make the wrong move with this dude and he's gone. I'm telling you. Like if 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 you haven't seen Adrian Martinez play, go on YouTube and pull up his highlights against Colorado. And you're gonna know why I'm nervous right now. And you're gonna realize if he's playing, this is not gonna be a cakewalk game. Not at all. Because the game they lost against Colorado, they really should have they probably would have won. He just got hurt. And so, you know, the backups in, they lose to Troy. He's, the offense is a builder built around him. He can't run like – Bunch can't run like uh, Martinez. So, that's just what it is. I want to see Shea just get out there and throw the ball like he can. I know our defense can slow – our defense can slow down almost anybody somewhat. But we're going to have, probably have to put up some points if this dude is playing because he's going he's gonna to get some of those first downs and, you know – Headache. Michigan has to. Michigan's defense. This is going to be a test. Michigan's defense has to get back to knowing how to stop these or slow down these type of players because all the good teams have them. And that's not even. That's not just the Big Ten. If you just go from from Lewerke to McSorley to Haskins to uh Alabama's both of their quarterbacks, Clemson, uh Kelly Bryant. Like most of the good teams, there's very few good teams or great teams in college football that don't have a mobile quarterback. So it's crucial that Don Brown gets figures out how to stop these type of players because we're gonna have to deal with them. Once we actually do become a good enough team to make it to a playoff you're going to have to deal with a, a mobile quarterback. Like, it's, it, you're, going to, you're going to have to deal with them. So we have to learn how to contain these dudes and stop them on these third and longs and third and, and shorts and picking up third downs and fourth downs and just moving the chains when the game is on the line. The, the quarterback isn't even trying to throw. He's just picking up first downs and stuff. Like, we've seen it happen to us way too many times. Lewerke did it to us last year. Uh, Haskins did it to us. JT Barrett has done it to us multiple times. McSorley did it to us last year. He was torching us. I, I'm just being honest. Dude was putting us through a clinic last year. McSorley was. But this is going to be a... This is gonna be a a telling game for the Michigan defense if they really know how to the way it's looking they just don't know how to stop these type of quarterbacks like they just kill us they kill us and Don Brown has to figure out how to stop them because he's he's done a horrible job of stopping good mobile quarterbacks like he really has it's just the truth but uh that's, that's pretty much all I got for today we're going to see how it goes if this dude is going to play if I'm I'm thinking he will like he's practicing he was in warm ups last week so it's it's likely he's going to start so we just have to hope this Harbaugh doesn't play around 
and he lets Shea throw the ball so we he can get in the rhythm early because we don't want to have a, a lackadaisical start like last week because you see what happens when you get down early. It puts a lot of pressure on your offense to be mistake-free at that point once you're down early. So you want to get out, get running, and put the pressure on them to pass the ball and, you know, get flustered because, like I say, if you haven't seen this dude – Go on YouTube and and watch watch his highlights against Colorado. This dude is a stud, man. But uh, that's all I got for today. We just going to hope for the best because I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. So, as always, like, share, subscribe to my page. P- appreciate the, port- so the support as always. And as always, go blue.